Recently, the James Webb Telescope has already managed to declare itself and what it is capable of by sending several images to Earth. Interestingly, these are just test photos so far, but they already show the full power of the telescope. In this video, I'll share some of the most mind-blowing shots James Webb has taken and tell you when to expect the next batch of new photos. I would be very happy about your subscription to my channel, and I express my gratitude to everyone who leaves their comment under the video. For me, it is very valuable and motivates me to make quality content for you. What is James Webb's best photos. The discoveries of James Webb will influence astronomy, astrophysics, and many other scientific fields. Let's take a look at the first images taken in March 2022 that Webb sent back to Earth. The first object that the telescope trained on was the sun-like star HD 84406, which is located at a distance of about 260 light years from Earth in the constellation Ursa Major. The Space Observatory took a series of photographs of light emanating from a star, consisting of a mosaic of 18 stars. During the image capture process, Webb was redirected to 156 different positions around the star's location and generated 1,560 images. The whole process took about 25 hours. These images were then combined to create a single large mosaic that captures the signature of each primary major segment in one frame. And that's just the centerpiece of this big mosaic, a huge 2 billion pixel image. By combining 18 different photos, the resolution accuracy has been brought to 50 nanometers. Some of you maybe have watched the video on my channel from the telescope selfie. A wavefront sensor, NIR cam, was used to work in the initial stages of tuning the James Webb because it has a wide field of view and the unique ability to operate safely at higher temperatures than other instruments. It is also distinguished by the presence of special components that have been developed to help in the process. True, after taking a selfie, artifacts appeared because at that moment the optimum temperature was exceeded. The image of a star's alignment is initially eye-catching because of its focus. Scientists say it's a groundbreaking engineering feat, but the real beauty is the abundance of ancient galaxies against the backdrop of this star. This amazing field of distant galaxies and this web test image shows that it has already stretched its hand across the universe. And this is just the beginning. And if Webb spent more than 20 minutes shooting, then the background of the galaxies will be able to compete in detail with the famous Hubble Deep Field image. The most recent image of Webb appeared on May 9th, showing the large Magellanic Cloud. A satellite galaxy near the Milky Way was obtained using the coldest instrument on board the telescope, the mid-infrared instrument. He zoomed in on a star field in a satellite galaxy and tested the James Webb telescope ability to capture images. The image was compared with a photograph taken by the older Spitzer Space Telescope. This highlighted the power of Webb's high-resolution near- and mid-infrared potential. All the discoveries and photographs of the telescope to date are just the beginning. On July 12th, NASA promises to spoil us with a new portion of pictures. Perhaps in the near future, he will provide people with the first expected image of the atmosphere of exoplanets. Webb will be able to explore even more objects within the solar system. We will also be able to learn how the evolution of ancient and supermassive black holes work. But what I do know is that as soon as Webb finishes testing and goes on science missions, the frequency of new images will increase, and this cannot but rejoice. How do you like the work of James Webb? Be sure to leave your comments and I will show you the best of them in the next video. Subscribe to my channel and join our community of lovers of science, space, and the unknown using the links in the description to keep abreast of events. Hugs.